Well, we're back to the virtual world right now with the Badgers sports reports. I'm sure you know why. We're just going out of a lot of caution these days, but we still have Badger sports to talk about. We'll get you caught up on all things Wisconsin hoops with head coach Greg Gard, whose team is getting ready to get back into Big Ten play this week. We also have a little hockey to show you, the Badgers in Milwaukee, football team in the Las Vegas Bowl. All of that on this week's edition of the Badger sports report. Feeds Crowell inside. He's working against Chapman. Inside. Little hesitation, then goes up strong and gets a little short jumper to fall. Davison crossing over, hands it off to Johnny Davis. Left side, Hepburn. Wall. Extended out from the block. Back to Hepburn. Looks inside. Nice look to Johnny Davis, who lays it in the left hand underneath. Left side, strong. Down into the corner. Ball tipped away and knocked away. Here's Hepburn into the front court. Does not have numbers. Takes it anyway with a little acrobatic lay-in. What a move by the freshman. And it's 10-2 Badgers and a timeout on the floor. Kicks out to Hepburn. Thought about a three. Now he puts it on the floor. Driving into the paint. Runs out of dribbles. Gives it to Johnny Davis. Nice look underneath by Davis and the flush by Vogt. Kicks out. Strong. Thought about a deep three. Puts it on the floor once. Then puts it up and leaves it off the front of the rim. Hepburn, long pass up ahead to Davis. In transition, off the glass for two. You can count it. He's going to the line for a three-point play. 42 seconds remaining in the first half. Davison leaves it for Crowell. Top of the key for three. Yes! Stephen Crowell knocks down the three in a big first half for the big man. 60-49, to 49, Wisconsin out in front. Gilmore with the basketball, gives it to Crowell. Now Hepburn with it on the right wing. 15 to shoot on the shot clock. Into the corner, Isaac Lindsay for a three. Lindsay comes off the bench and buries a three in the corner for Wisconsin. 11-13 remaining in the game. 63-56, Badgers leading Illinois State. Lewis with the basketball. Out of the top of the key, hands off to Reeves. He's working against Wall here. Crosses over, Wall takes it away from him. Wall trying to outrun Lewis to the rim, and he does, and he flushes it home for Deuce. Tyler Wall is one of those unique players in guard one through five. Davison puts it on the floor, driving on that left side. Now peels back into the middle of the paint, leaves it underneath for Crowell. Double pump, he goes strong, off the glass for two, and Crowell having a big night going to the line to try and complete a three-point play. I think I think you saw some good glimpses and some bad glimpses, you know. I think it was just kind of we were up by a lot and we kind of kind of got relaxed and then let them come in and we had to figure things out. Kind of Jekyll and Hyde, like Coach Card says, but yeah, we just got to be a little more consistent. You know, when you don't have as many guys on the bench, you, you don't get as many breaks. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody is, you know, winded and tired right now, but, you, you know, during the game, you know, you kind of just forget about that and just play to win. Both ends of the floor looked like we hadn't been doing much in 14 days. Um, we're playing in 14 days, so put it to our guys to find a way. You know, this group has kind of taken that um, mindset that just when things aren't quite going how you want or how you script, that you continue to to plug away. And, you know, some big plays by guys down the stretch and getting to the free throw line was huge. Taking care of the ball was big. Great player. It big buckets for us tonight, and that's just a testament to what he does. At before practice, after practice, he's always in the gym getting shots up. And although he's in a shooting slump, I think tonight kind of got him out of it. But that's the, I think, the makings of a good team is that you hopefully don't have to rely consistently on one guy. And obviously, Johnny and Brad have carried us a lot, but it's good to see you know, Chucky be more aggressive and, and Steven play well and, and score like he can. And I think you're going to see, we know there's going to be peaks and valleys, specifically with young guys. And then obviously Tyler, I thought, you know, was really good down the stretch. He took a huge charge, made his free throws. Um, you know, we were able to do enough to, to get out with a win. Came back from winter break. We were able to <clears throat> have a few practices without any games and kind of figure things out offensively, defensively. And then we're heading into Big Ten, so it's, it's time to step it up. This is Wisconsin basketball. Out front pass, knocked away by Davis. Johnny gets the steal. Johnny down the lane. Slam dunk with a right hand. Up the wall, another three. Got it! And a feed to Davis and running the floor. Down the lane to the rim, layup good. Front court, high screen Carlson. Deep three, Hepburn. Got it. Here's the 
Davis for three, right side booking. Fourth three of the half for Johnny Davis. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. When you've been injured, you need the hometown team on your side. Trust us to get you back in the game. Call Wisconsin's own Gruber Lofts, proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. You'll hear things like, you're going to need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like, really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're going to be okay. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Hard work, sweat, knowledge in your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players. No matter what you seem to be playing, you, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. Injured? You need a team you can trust. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. Well, a couple of things here. Full disclosure, we are recording this interview early in the week, and as you can see, we're following our own safety protocols here. When we're back to Zoom, which I think we were all hoping we didn't need to do again. But uh, what's that line? Out of an abundance of caution, that's what we're doing for this week's Badger Sports Report, our conversation with, with Coach Greg Gard. And, uh, man, just a, it's a, a, just a crying shame. I, we all thought we were done with this until we found out we weren't. And uh, I guess the first thing here, Greg, is, you know, people see this. They probably have some idea of the timeline of the, of the week leading up to Christmas and uh, first the Morgan State game and then the George Mason game that, that didn't happen. Uh, first, how are your guys? How, how did they handle this? Because being in quarantine is never any fun, especially during the holiday. I imagine you guys you constantly checking in with those guys just to make sure they were they were okay emotionally as much as anything else, right? Yeah, you know, you check in with them typically anyway, and, and especially if you got some guys that are under the weather a little bit, you're double checking in on those. But, I, you know, to get everybody home, I think was important. Um, especially given the fact of what we went through last year, uh, even though we're kind of walking down the same path in some regards, but last year they didn't get a chance to do that. So um, I know the guys that were in that position last year appreciated the opportunity to go home and spend a few time days at home. And, and obviously we were strategically scheduling um, our mandatory three days off uh, around the holidays. So, um, you know, like you said, you make the best of the situation that you're in knowing that, we're not the only ones in the country dealing with this right now. It's it's uh, it's in a lot of places. So you uh, take it one day at a time, make the best of it. I feel like I need to just shut up for the rest of the way because I was really excited for your guys leading up to what we thought would be the game against George Mason. You had a crowded house. Like everybody was available it, you know, know. for a couple of days, right? That's a luxury you haven't had all year. I know it was the first time we'd had perfect attendance at practice in, in quite some time. So I guess uh, be careful what you wish for, right? Because yeah. uh, the minute we uh, celebrated that a little bit, it wasn't long and we're, uh, we're taking a back step back to normal. 
you know, you mentioned the, you know, the guys who went through this last year and, and that includes, you know, you as a coaching staff. And I, I include Mark Vandewettering in there, the director of operations. Uh, again, that the cooperation, even though the game didn't go off as scheduled with George Mason, they wanted a game. They needed a game. They were willing to travel. Uh, if silver linings in this tough stretch we're, we're all dealing with right now is that the cooperation continues to be sky high, I guess, in terms of communication and just trying to find a way to make it work. Yeah, and, you know, we really ran it late into that, to the day on on Wednesday or Thursday, the day we were supposed to play as late as we possibly could and really got to the point where the medical teams on both sides, um, you know, stepped in. Our, our medical team, our doctors were not comfortable and said no, and their doctors were right in agreement with it. So it really, even though I agreed with the doctors, it wasn't going to matter what I said or what uh, what Kim English said at, at George Mason. It was going to come down to the, to the doctor's decision. And I think really when you look at the long picture, the, the health, not only of them, their families, those type of things, the community, but also, you know, over the course of the whole season, um, it, it's the best decision. You know, there are things that are more important than basketball. And um, it, uh, fortunately, we, like you mentioned, the cooperation, the understanding, and the, really the agreement uh, uh, unanimously that, that that was the best action to be taken that night and uh, move on to, to better days ahead. Yeah, I guess you know you have the you know the COVID issue, of course, but you guys have been dealing with the flu bug. I guess it's don't ask what else could happen. I guess if there's something we've all learned in all of this, just handle it and get ready as best you can for what lies ahead. Yeah, there is. I think that's the benefit of maybe uh, if there's a silver lining of going through it last year, you just roll with the punches and um, just when you thought you've seen it all, you haven't seen it all. So uh, you just. Uh, understand that uh, you have to make the best of the situation you're in and and uh, listen to the people that are the experts in the fields and and uh, keep moving forward. Well, we'll talk a, a little basketball here in our last couple of minutes. The, as it's turned out and uh, you schedule because of this, the non-conference schedule, again, appeared to be very, very good for you guys. You have a strong net ranking as you get ready to get back into Big Ten play. Uh, it seems like the games that you could play served a great purpose as you continue to learn about your team to get back in a conference play. The man, the competition, once again, proved to be very good. Yeah, it did. You know, I think we're number one. The last I checked a couple of days ago, we're number one in, in quad one wins in the country. Um, you know, so it, it is, even though we've it's been, you know, somewhat of a revolving door, musical chairs in terms of who's been available, um, it's been, you know, part, it's forced us to give a lot of guys some experience. Uh, and it's also obviously the level of competition have, have really put people's feet to the fire, so to speak, to have them really figure out what they can do and how they can function and what we need to get better at. So we still, even though we're almost to flipping the calendar here to 2022, it's because of all those things. Um, you know, I think there's so much more that we can learn about this team that I need to learn about this team and, and how much more how much better we can get because once we hopefully knock on wood get everybody together at some point in time here in the near future and, and continue to it'll be obviously against much stiffer competition that we're gonna have to gain that experience in getting into league play but i think uh hopefully what we've gone through is helps prepare us and kind of callous us for what's coming down the road yeah stronger competition to say the least as the badgers ready to jump back into big 10 play the schedule says that the purdue boilermakers are first up badgers of course one and one in league play splitting their games in december a road trip to purdue coming up on monday a six o'clock tip down at mackey arena stay with us we have much more to come as we continue with the badger sports report we believe in education we believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from, and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and, most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. 
My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. Five receivers, three on the right, two on the left. And the snap to Daniels. Badgers bring in three and a throw over the middle, and it's intercepted by the jewelry thief, John Torchio. The strong safety picks off Jaden Daniels. First turnover of the night, forced by the Wisconsin defense. The Badgers start at the ASU 36. Badgers trying to capitalize on the John Torchio interception. John Chanel, the fullback, Braylon Allen, the tailback, and now Ferguson into the backfield. Inverted wishbone, handoff, John Chanel over the left side, inside the five, Chanel to the end zone, touchdown, Wisconsin. The fullback, John Chanel, goes in for the first score of the night. Six nothing, Wisconsin, three minutes and 20 seconds in. On first down, handoff, Allen, he's to the 50, cutting right, 45, Allen to the 40, 35, 30, he's down to the 20, Allen to the 10, Braylon Allen inside the 10 yard. Line. Down to the eight of Arizona State. First down goal to go for Wisconsin. Second and goal, Wisconsin at the seven yard line. Merch takes the snap, drops the throw, stands at the 17. He'll throw left side, end zone wide open. Jake Ferguson, touchdown, Wisconsin. He was all alone, left side of the end zone. As the Badgers go in again, and they lead it 13 to 3. 11 minutes to play, seven point lead for Wisconsin. Play clock is at five as Daniels gets them organized. He'll take the snap. Badgers with three and a spy. Daniels under pressure and sacked. Nick Herbeck again at the 47 or 48 yard line of Arizona State. They'll mark at the 48. He'll be in the shotgun. Davis to his right, two receivers right, one on the left. Mertz gets the snap, pressure coming, deep drop Graham, he'll throw to the right side, and it's caught by DK, 45 to the 50, and out of bounds at the 45-yard line, make it the 46 of Arizona State, as Graham Mertz delivers, Arizona State trying to heat him up, Mertz had enough protection to get the pass away, and a big play for Wisconsin. Second and 10 for the 34-yard line, Mertz hands off Braylon Allen, slips off the right side, Braylon inside the 30-yard line, Braylon Allen getting a little energy pushing the pile inside the 20 yard line oh a grown man Braylon Allen and his friends they'll mark at the 20 of Arizona State Graham takes the snap he's going to hand it to Chanel over the right side and Chanel is taken down at the six the clock hits zero if you're going to hand it off hand it off to your fullback and the Wisconsin Badgers are the champions of the Las Vegas Bowl. This is the second half we struggled offensively but uh, you know guys kept finding ways to come up and, and uh, give us a chance and that, you know, it was a heck of a drive to finish finish it out. It, you know, that attests to the work that we put in the summer and, you know, throughout the season and, um, you know, needing to put together a big drive at the end. Just, you got to put your trust in each other and be confident in, you know, the play calls and confident that you're going to execute it and get it done. And uh, I think we did that and, you know, made big plays when we needed them. I mean, it means a lot to us. You know, and I think it started with Coach Leonard and, uh, you know, we knew the we knew what this defense could have been. We knew the, that we were special, and uh, you know, we wanted to we wanted to make history. We wanted to be one of those defenses that people look at, look back on, and uh, you know, we're like, oh, those guys, those guys were great. Those guys got after it. And you know, it took it took every day. It took hard work, and uh, you know, it starts with the coaches, starts with their plan, and then then it came down to the players. I mean, it's been so much fun to be a part of, and. Uh, you know, I think that's not only our defense, but the entire team. You know, that's what it's all about. It's all about, uh, you know, going out there, obviously working hard, but, you know, enjoying what you're doing and enjoying the people you're doing it with. It, it with, And you know, that's what this place is. Pretty uneventful, you know, being underage in Vegas. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was cool to just be with the guys for a week and, uh, you know, get to see some cool places and stuff and uh, ultimately end, end the week with a win. Um, so it was, it was pretty cool, but... You know, hopefully, uh, next time I come back, I'll be of age and able to do some things. Special team, and because it's made up of a special group of individuals, and got a large number of guys that played their last game, and and uh, 
truly grateful for all they've given to this program. Compere Financial has always been there for our clients and communities in any situation. And our support continues today as our clients work relentlessly to feed, clothe, and fuel the world. Compere is proud to continue our strong commitment to our clients, the rural communities where they live, and to agriculture. We're here to help meet the financial needs of rural America. And we'll navigate through this together. You'll hear things like, you're going to need to see a specialist. Now what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're going to be OK. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Here's Gorniak, nice pass, D. St. Val. Topol shoots and scores! Matthew D. St. Val, his third goal of his sophomore season, and the Badgers add to their lead. It's now 2 zip. Here's Caulfield. He risks one. He scores! Wisconsin will play for the championship tomorrow night. Brock Caulfield beat the Minnesota in overtime earlier this year. He beats Yale in overtime 2-0-2 into the first game they've ever played at the Pfizer Forum. Here's a chance by Max Johnson. A Sean tried again. And much like Providence in that second period, the Badgers working from the goal line near side. Corson Kuhlemans scores. Staubert did not know where the puck was. Looked much like Mo in the second period. And Kuhlemans from a sharp angle right wing puts one past Stauber and it's a one goal game. Ran into a man, puck came free, Kuhlemans, toe pull, can't get the shot off, still loose, Badgers poke it in! Matty D. St. Foul! And this title game is tied! Here's Brock Caulfield now against Jackson Stauber. He scores! The Friars have been denied after Ford potted the first goal of the shootout. Now here's Zach Erdahl. Got his first collegiate goal last night. Can be a, a memorable weekend for him. He shoots and scores! And Wisconsin wins the holiday faceoff. Tony Granado said he wanted his team to approach this like they were playing for the Stanley Cup. They act like they just won the cup right now as Erdahl, the freshman from Eau Claire North, gets his biggest goal as a Badger. Won't go down to the stats, but he wins the shootout, and the Badgers win the first ever quick trip holiday faceoff. How did it feel to, to win this thing in a shootout in front of all the fans here in Milwaukee? Uh, I mean, you can feel the electricity in the building. I mean, it's huge, you know, down 2-0, going into the third, and we just uh, grinded that out. I mean, it wasn't pretty uh, at times, you know, they were on us, and we just kind of, you know, bend, not break. You know, we uh, figured out a way how to get it done, and we ended up getting in the shootout, so a lot of fun. You know, at times we can, I mean, all the time, we can be uh, a really good team, uh, and we just got to, you know, put the effort, and we got to, grind and focus on what we can do and we can be a great team and it's uh, it's all up here uphill from here we're going to keep going here hard work sweat knowledge in your own two hands these are the tools that build wisconsin leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay all from day one it's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players, no matter what you seem to be playing. You, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac. Made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good foods guac. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. The healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. And is brought to you by... 
The Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. As always, we thank Coach Guard for joining us as his team getting ready to get back into Big Ten play. And if all goes well, the Badgers will be in West Lafayette, a Monday matchup against the Purdue Boilermakers, and then back at the Kohl Center on Thursday to take on the Iowa Hawkeyes. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. You'll hear things like, you're going to need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.